Time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Um, I'm going to go right up and play in just a second, but I, I just wanted to give you a quick plot update. I forgot to um, do my plot twist yesterday when I was um, doing the last video, so I'll just go ahead and tell you now. My next goal, it's no longer the, the thing with the baggage. It's an, it's an either-or situation now. Um, so I'm going to go through my list of things to do, which I'm not going to show you right now because I think you've seen that enough. Um, and cross out the ones that are impossible to do before this, this is done. Um, and if I can get half of the things that are possible to get done, done prior to the end of this, this game, then I will get the better of the the two possible um, endings for me. Um, if not, I'll get the, the worst possible ending because I already, at the first branch, I got the bad, the, the lesser of the two options, and now I can either get kind of a middle option or get the very bottom option. Um, so if I can get half of them done, I'll get the middle option. If I don't, I'll get the bottom option. But let's go play. All right, before we commence with Dick's turn, let's just take a quick look at the board here. The um, reason why I want to do this is because we have three turns left and the game is over. Uh, so it, it might be a good time to kind of check in with uh, what people's prospects for victory are and what, um, what choices they might have prior to the end of the game. So I'm just going to kind of think out loud about each character. Um, so the first thing that jumps out at me is that uh, Sparky and Twigmar seem to be the front runners in terms of um, what kind of potential they have. Sparky just pulled in all that um, that uh, Haas Byroid favor, which helped him. Does have a minus three chip, but he also got uh, a conspiracy chip going. Um, Sparky, however, I don't think he's done a lot on the murder investigation. Let me just take a quick peek here. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know that he's got he's placed as much evidence as some of the other characters. Though maybe, maybe I I my memory is it, it, this game's been going on for weeks now, so I, I kind of have lost lost some of the things I would know if I was doing this day after day after day. Um, so, but he did have a big turn, so maybe that's last last turn, a very good turn for him, so maybe that's why I feel positive about his chances. And also, he's the only person on the moon with all this evidence. So, he's got uh, a promis promising situation before him, as does Twigmar. Twigmar is the only one with the, um, what's it called, the warrant or whatever on Jinteki, that with my um, messed up, my broken house rule, that's less of a powerful thing to have a warrant because all that, all that does is keep you from having, having to pay too time to go to that space um, since they can just keep using the space again and again and again. As long as they have the resources they need, they can just sit on the space and it, it you know only pay the two time once. But he's the one who's collected the favor that's required to get the Jinteki token. So, Twigmar, um, things are things are looking promising for him. He hasn't collected the things yet, though. And as we saw last turn, someone can play a card on you, and you can lose a whole bunch of favor. So, um, oh, speaking of cards, I wanted to point out Sparky. <laughs> a lot of people were trying to stop him from get those getting those Hospiroid tokens. So there are a lot a lot of dark cards out right now for him. So he is going to, although he's going to be able to, you know. He has the potential to follow up a bunch of leads. Something really bad could happen to him, too. Um, so, I don't know. Those two seem like they have the most promise right now, Twigmar and Sparky. But let's take a look at the other characters. Okay, Coonies was doing rather well, I thought. He he had the three Hospiroid tokens, had a chance to get another one. Um, also hasn't placed a lot of evidence, though. So... You know, when I say someone looks like they're doing well, I'm kind of speaking in terms of what they have out on the table. Um, Cooney, Cooney's really got hammered last turn, though, for those of you who watched the last video. Um, and this this coming turn, he's going to get to do nothing. He's going to get warped up to Hospiroid, and his turn ends. So it, 
his chances really don't look that good right now. Um, Banana, I think I I would be really shocked if she won the game. I I feel like she made a series of poor choices that um, really kind of messed things up for her. Now. She could do well on her plot, though, and get some points that way. She's also doing pretty well in terms of um, placing evidence. She's placed a lot of evidence, um, tipped her hand a little bit with Sergeant Deja Thoris, unless that was a very, very clever and resource-intensive ruse, because she's also placed a lot of evidence on Sergeant Deja Thoris. Um, doesn't look like Sergeant's going to go anywhere, though, because we're getting near the end, and there hasn't been any more hit tokens placed. Um, so I don't know about Banana Dick had a lot of promise as well. He was kind of in a similar but less dramatic situation to Cooney's. He he had a good shot of getting the Hospiroid tokens, was lacking a way up there, um, could have gotten a dropship pass, but wasn't able to do that. His plots are looking good though. And he's also looking good on the, the investigation. So I, I'd say I'd say Dick is probably in it. He's got nothing dramatic going for him other than a slew of favor. A lot of people favor, too, which I, I feel like is less sensitive to being lost than the other favor. Um, except in terms of, I guess, potential dark, you know, like if she has a falling out with her father, I could see her losing um, daddy favor. But, um, all right, enough talk. Let's play. All right, and Dick's turns up. Placed some evidence on Mark Henry. Got a dropship pass. Um, placing evidence is rather good for Dick right now for two reasons. One, it's the main way to get victory points now. Um, he he could go after Jinteki tokens, but you know he's clear over here. Doesn't really have the favor to to get too much in the way of that. Um, he's got a good jump on the evidence. It's going that route. Um, and anytime he places evidence. On a suspect, he gets good baggage, so that's also going to help him. Um, also, his main way to get money, which is going to give him points in the end, is going to give him bad baggage. So Dick's kind of uh, way to points right now. Focus on this, um, which will also help him out with his plot. And if he can get a good enough jump on the good baggage, then he can he can do some bounties in order to collect some money. Um, and get his victory points up on his, his money chart by the end of the game. That's sort of Dick's map to success. Bouncy sort of turned for Twigmar. First of all, uh, Dick played this card on him, which uh, I think represented Caprice sitting at uh, with a therapist. And she, he really, he had to decide whether or not she would stay with the therapist, lose three time and gain two trauma because of all the things that the therapist dug up, or just lose two sanity by not um, talking to the therapist. Twigmar, for whatever reason, decided to lose the, the sanity, which is going to be rough on him next turn. He's going to start the turn with six actions instead of seven, which is what he's been getting accustomed to. Um, spent the rest of his turn moving to Jinteki. Um, also got all the favor he needs in order to, to get the rest of the the tokens. He's just missing the cards that he needs to discard. Um, so he, he sat there, drew some cards, um, got one of the tokens, used this card, which um, made him work late, and that that gave him three extra time, which was a really nice card. This, this card only costs two shifts, and it costs no time to play, and you get a three, three time. Really great card. Um, straightforward, to the point, helpful. Uh, so that's that's where Twigmar is right now. Banana had kind of an interesting turn in a way. Uh, went from the university to the Starlight Crusade, where um, got rid of a favor in order to get rid of a trauma. Uh, so now Lewis is scot free in terms of trauma. I think all the other characters are traumatized in some way, yeah, to different degrees. Lewis is the only one without trauma, so maybe that makes a big difference. We'll see. Um, then went to Omnicorp, hung out there, got a little bit of uh, evidence erased off of Mark Henry, uh, pulled some strings, um, and then finally ended up in Gila Highlands, which is where Lewis needs to spend some time with uh, a friend who's 
daughter got killed before he can follow up any more leads. Now, leads are going to start getting really scarce. Of course, they're all on the moon, right? So if Sparky doesn't follow up any leads, the leads are going to stay on the moon for the rest of the game because as soon as we get to this area, any leads that follow, are followed up just go away. They're no longer moved around. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty big. Um, but anyway, at least Banana will have the ability to do so if she spends the time here next turn. This is also the place where she can get Sarah favors, um, which could be may or may not be useful. There's plenty of Sarah, Sarah favors out there, however. We'll see if she spends the time to pick them up. Nothing happened on Cooney's turn except that he got grounded for being out past curfew. Uh, so Sparky's turn. Remember, everyone had these dark cards to play on him, and they waited and waited as he went through location to location, all these uh, CD locations, until he hit Eliza's toy box. A couple people wanted to play cards, had to go through order, so we started with play order and then went around because only one light and dark card can be played per location apparently. Um, and Banana was the one who got to play it and it was a doozy. It was, every time I come here my shoulder aches. Crap, I hate the moon. It brings back bad memories. The officer I was with raised an eyebrow. You say that about everywhere, Ray. Really bad memories, I replied, rubbing absently at my shoulder. So, Raymond was either going to have to choose either to move to the Castle Club, which would have been bad because that would have cut him off from the moon, unless he had a dropship pass, which he did, or um, would have got some trauma, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, he, he was said, not this time, my friend, and no one could play any more dark cards on him this turn, and that one didn't work. So he was able to follow up some leads and escape scot-free. I don't know if that if his luck will continue, however, because there's still quite a few dark cards out there. Mr. Lee is holding court. There seems to be some sort of heavy power brokering going on in the underworld right now. I'd advise everyone to steer clear for the moment, somebody says. Um, and so Mr. Lee is now here. He's the big uh, criminal boss who uh, has paid Lewis money in the past to be crooked. Uh, anyone who goes there and spends three three times, so roughly half their day, with Mr. Lee will get a favor of every single type. They'll get a blue favor, a yellow favor, a red favor, and a green favor. Just for three times, so that's pretty good. Normally, you know, you have to travel to a special location and spend two time just to get one favor, so that is going to be a hot spot if someone has a use for favor anymore. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, Dick's turn started out with that uh, that black market chips card that I mistakenly played before, but then figured I couldn't play. He didn't want it to be played, so he canceled it with this, who sent you? Um, which allowed him to do something else. It canceled the card, but it also allowed him to place a hit on a suspect. Since he was pretty, since Twigmar was going to play the card, and he was pretty sure that um, Twigmar's guilty hunch is, um, or no, no, Twigmar's innocent hunch was Vinny the Strangler. Uh, he put another hit on Vinny the Strangler. Vinny already had one. So Vinny's looking a lot more in trouble now than when he just had one hit. The one hit made him look, and same with Sergeant Deja Thoris, made him look um, very uh, safe still. But now that they have two, one more hit and Vinny's out of the game. All this, all this evidence that has been placed on him, and you can see who people believe the evidence was, I think I might have actually revealed who has his card in an early video, um, will be gone. And innocent, guilty hunches will, will not be paid off. So, yeah, pretty pretty strong move. Then he used a dropship pass to go to the midway, um, spent some time with Mr. Lee, got a bunch of favor. He's got a pile of favor. I don't know what Dick's planning. Um, also followed up some leads, put some more evidence on Mark Henry to replace the stuff that was taken off by Banana on her last turn. It's a beautiful dream. And that was when I woke up. She picked up her bag, looking at the raked stones of the garden, blushing furiously. You must think it's very childish. A silly little girl's dream. No, he said. She looked at him, and he was smiling, and she was smiling. Not at all. 
uh, Twigmar played this card. First thing he did was he just drew some cards. Didn't get as many actions this turn, but he drew a bunch of light cards, played this card, let him discard as many light cards as he wanted, and then draw that many cards. Then, because she got to spend this nice time talking about her dreams a lot better than therapy, I think, um, she gained a sanity and was able to get rid of one of her trauma. I think that's a, a lot more pleasant way to go about um, dealing with one's dreams. Talking about the nice ones uh, rather than talking about the bad ones. And talking about the nice ones with someone you care about. Um, even if they are just kind of some playboy um, guy who scores with all the chicks on campus um, rather than some doctor. Uh, so that was pretty much what he did. Uh, got another one of these Jin Jinteki tokens. One more turn left, and there's three left in the pot. Unless uh, Twigmar can draw some more cards, this prize is going to be, going to be um, out of his reach. He might be spending the rest of his 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 the game here in Jinteki. But Anna's turn, and it's really hitting me um, just how little time is left in this game. I'm thinking for the characters kind of making some long term plans, but there really is no long term. There's you know, players have either well, six time left in the case of Banana Now, Dick, and Twigmar, or or 12 or 13 time left, or I guess 13, the two two mustachioed men on the moon have 13 time left in the whole game. Um, Banana, on her turn, spent some of her time in the Gila Highlands. She did not, however, spend any of that time to remove the marker. She finally got some Sarah favor. Um, and then, here it is. Then she played a card, um, money makes the world go round, on the take, Lewis frowned. Kid, people look out for themselves first and foremost. I don't know where you've learned all this moralistic garbage of yours, but it's just gonna get you killed. Some cash has changed hands somewhere, and you can be sure a witness will remember seeing our suspect somewhere else at the time of the murder. Place another alibi on Sergeant Deja Thoris. Those are very dangerous, as the rule book states have been reading it. Um, because either that, that player can get offed, very close to getting offed right now, or someone can place a perjury ch token if they're so lucky to draw one, which flips it from minus five to positive five. That's not good. Um, anyway, spent the rest of her turn going up to Adam's garden, drew another Sarah favor. I think what's, what's happening is that Banana realized Lewis couldn't possibly do his job. Uh, even if he had spent the time to to go to take this marker off, so he could follow up leads again, all the leads are way over here. She doesn't move very fast. She could probably get to something maybe if no one followed up this lead, but you know it would take her the, her whole next turn in order to do so. So went with a different strategy. Um, it's not really even a strategy. Just kind of went home. And I think that's what we do uh, when when we go out into the world and we're not successful is we can always just go home. With this, you'll be like a mobile lab, analyzing every bit of dust you breathe in and every fiber you touch. Uh, Cooney's finally got a turn where nothing bad happened to him. He had a lot of fun this turn actually. He installed this spectrum analyzer, full spectrum analyzer at Haas Byroid, then sp which allows him to, uh, every time he follows up a lead in order to place evidence on a suspect, which is nice for him, he has the same situation as Dick in that he gets to put good baggage when he follows up a lead. In fact, I gotta put another one on him. Um, he gets to draw two from the bag, pick the one he wants, and discard the other one. Pretty good. So he spent his time doing some detective work with his new full spectrum analyzer. Uh, lots of lots of evidence to leads to follow up. Uh, cleared off a good bit of the moon. Um, great turn for him. You know, I think that this turn was kind of the light 
card to last the last two turns dark cards. So I, I'm looking I'm looking forward to his um, remaining future because I'm I think to kind of balance out these two bad turns, he'll have two good turns, and that'll be fun for Coonies. This was a turn of favor for Sparky, a bumpy turn for favor. The first thing that happened was Banana played this card. No one's going to help you on this one, Ray. Um, so. He had to lose all of his normal favors because no one was going to help him, and that was a that was a problem for Sparky because Sparky's you know having collected these tokens is now starting to think about his plot, right? And his plot he can't uncover the pieces of the conspiracy. Um, I'm just I I could yeah. So his one choice for um, getting good baggage is going to Wildside. However, he needs blue favor to do that. So losing the favor, he was unable to go to wild. He was unable to go wild side. So he played a card um, called "I owe you one, Ray," and then someone decided to help him. It's his old flame, Kate. So he had a Kate favor. Went back to Eliza's toy box, traded that for the blue favor. He needs to go to wild side. Right. On the way there, he was picking up cards. I played that Sparky was aware of the memory cards. I also played that he could forget about them or not always be paying attention to everything because I think that is legitimate when you're in the midst of a game with people. So I did a little die roll, kind of gave him a, a, a chance um, to see if he remembered when he was drawing cards that if he drew seven cards he would have unpaid debts. I screwed up bad. When I needed my buddy most, he was there for me. But when it came time for me to square my debts, I was running around with a girl. And Keen died, alone and scared, waiting for a rescue that would never come. So he lost his favor again. Uh, who played that card? Banana. So that is going to be it for this video. Um, Sparky is here trying to get some favor so that he can end things well with Kate. Uh, the best, the best that's possible, and get uh, you know, the, I, th I think 14 points are on the line, right? Um, uh, plus the happy ending bonus, so that's what is that? 16 points? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a hefty chunk of scratch he's fighting for. Um, Coonies, not quite sure what Coonies is doing. I think he's just uh, enjoying being a biroid. Um, Dick has a bunch of favor. Not a lot of time to use it. We'll see what Dick does with that that favor. He he sacrificed a lot of time to get it. Um, Twigmar, will he be able to get his Jinteki tokens? That that's and and how will his sanity uh, be at the end of the game? Will will he have to make a choice between uh, the corporation's special victory points or his own? His own dear, dear close friend Caprice's sanity, and then Banana, and she's kind of she's kind of decided for for lack of choice to return Lewis to his wife. Um, seems like she's got a pretty good chance of resolving that favorably, but will that be enough for uh, him and her to live happily ever after? and to continue on in the Real People multi-game solitaire mega tournament.